we'll start the problem from the left hand side so on the left hand side we have that cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus in place of cos 8 pi by 7 we can write cos 2 pi minus 6 pi radian by 7 because 8 pi by 7 is equivalent to because 2 pi, 8 pi by 7 is equal to 2 pi minus 6 pi by 7 because 7 is 14 minus 14 minus 6 is 8. 8 so in this way so we, are, we can write have, 2 pi minus 6 pi by 7 the next thing we have to know is that cos 360 minus theta will be cos theta that should be known so now let's go to the problem cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus now we know that cos 2 into pi radian is 180 degree cos uh, 360 minus theta is cos theta so the reason is cos 360 minus theta is cos theta okay so now we can multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 sine pi by 7 and the denominator 2 sine pi radian by 7 so what we have left is we have cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 okay we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 sine pi by 7 now 2 sine pi radian by 7 into cos 2 pi radian by 7 plus 2 sine pi by 7 into cos 4 pi by 7 plus 2 sine pi by 7 into cos 6 pi by 7 and in the denominator what we have is we have 2 sine pi radian by 7 now we can use the formula of 2 sine a cos in the numerator so according to the formula we will go with the problems now okay so 2 sine a cos b is sine a plus b plus sine a minus b so we operate the formula of 2 sine a cos b for the first term now what we have is 2 sine pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 so comparing this with 2 sine a cos b we can write sine pi radian by 7 plus 4 pi radian by 7 plus sine pi radian by 7 minus 4 pi radian by 7 and we'll also do the same thing for the third term we can write 2 sorry we can write uh, sine pi radian by 7 plus 6 pi radian by 7 um, plus sine pi radian by 7 minus 6 pi radian by 7 so in the numerator we operate the formula to sine a cos b and the denominator doesn't get changed what we have already in the denominator is we have 2 sine pi radian by 7 we know that sine minus theta is minus sine theta keeping that thi thing in mind we, ca we can write now see a sine now pi radian by 7 plus 2 pi radian by 7 is 3 pi radian by 7 plus sine pi by 7 minus 2 pi by 7 is minus pi by 7 and sine minus pi by 7 is minus sine pi by 7. So we can write here minus sine pi by 7 because sine pi by 7 minus 2 pi by 7 will this will give you minus pi by 7 and sine minus pi by 7 is minus sine pi by 7. So uh, now let us solve other so sine 4 pi by 7 plus pi by 7 is pi pi by 7 plus sine pi by 7 minus 4 pi by 7 gives you minus 3 pi by 7 so sine minus 3 pi by 7 is minus sine 3 pi by 7 plus sine pi by 7 plus 6 pi by 7 gives you 7 pi by 7 so we'll write here 7 pi by 7 plus sine pi by 7 minus 6 pi by 7 will give you minus 5 pi by 7 so it will be minus sine 5 pi by 7 so in the denominator we have 2 sine pi radian by 7 now let us try to solve the like term so we can cancel sine 3 pi by 7 minus sine 3 pi by 7 
Now we can also cancel sine 5 pi by 7 minus sine 5 pi by 7. So we can cancel 7 and 7. Now let us write the thing that we have left in the numerator. Okay, now so we can write we have minus sine 5 radian by 7 plus 0 because sine pi radian is sine 180. So sine 180 is 0. And in the denominator we have 2 sine pi by 7. So when you cancel these two, we have minus 1 by 2 left, which is our. RHS. So in this manner we will solve our problem.